Today on Sports Show Time, we look at our LSU Tigers who are recognized for their play this season. And later, Derek Kopp will take us inside the Miami Heat's huge winning streak. That's all coming your way and much more. Sports Show Time Sport Desk starts right now. Welcome to the Sports Desk, a segment of Sports Showtime. I'm Sydney Armstrong. And I'm Beth Brunner. Well, Sydney, LSU baseball is looking hot this year. Ranked seventh in the country according to Baseball America's polls. Tigers are on a 10 game winning streak. That's right, Bat. And what better to do than like, take a look at our baseball's major leaders, starting off with the pitching. The number seven ranked Tigers came to this weekend series against, the Wa against Washington with a record of 12 and 1, but they left Alex Fox Sunday afternoon feeling pretty confident with a 15-1 record after completing the weekend sweep of the Washington Huskies. The Tigers had strong pitching outings by Aaron Nola, Ryan Eves, and Cody Glenn, who led the Tigers in the weekend series. Nola got the series started Friday night, striking out six Huskies in six innings of work. Nola also did not give up his first hit until the sixth inning. Saturday night, Ryan Eads took after Nola, striking out six Huskies as well. Then Sunday afternoon, sophomore Cody Glenn took the mound and did not disappoint with three strikeouts and five innings of work. LSU coach Paul Maneri pointed out how Eads impressed him. Proud of Ryan Eads after giving up the big inning to come back then the next inning and throw a goose egg up there and then pitch into the, into the following inning. You know, it takes a lot of fortitude to do those kind of things. Even with exceptional pitching performances, every great team needs offense to put runs on the board. And this weekend, the Tigers got just that. Senior first baseman Mason Katz had a tremendous weekend as he blasted two out of the park on Saturday alone and took another one deep on Sunday. Following his weekend performance, Katz was named Louisiana Sports Writers Association Baseball Player of the Week, along with two-lane right-handed pitch Arian Gibalt. The senior's 328 batting average is fifth best among the Tigers starters, and he leads the team with five home runs. After Sunday's game, LSU head coach Paul Maneri explained what he liked about Cat's performance. Great all weekend, you know. No, knowing Mason, though, he's going to be mad at the times he didn't come through. He had a couple other opportunities. He could have had an enormous weekend, but he had some really big hits for us all weekend. You can catch the LSU Baseball Tigers as they wrap up their nine-game home street stretch tomorrow night in Alex Box as they take on Nichols State. The first pitch is set for 6.30 p.m. Following their regular season finale loss to Ole Miss on Saturday, the LSU men's basketball team can now look toward the SEC tournament. LSU's loss on Saturday situated the Tigers at ninth place in the SEC with a 9-9 conference record and an 18-11 overall record. The Tigers' ninth place record matches them against 8th seed Georgia. LSU previously faced Georgia in Athens back in January, losing to the Bulldogs 67-58, completing LSU's 0-4 start in conference play. But this is a different Tigers team, having won nine of their last 14 conference games entering the tournament. Yesterday, members of the program spoke about their focus entering Thursday's game. This time it's off the front New excitement. Um, going to the conference tournament, um, anything can happen. Um, we just got to go in and have the mindset that we can win this thing. He throw the records out of the window and everything else. This is what we're playing for, and this is what we have to accomplish uh, to get to where we're trying to go in the next few days. LSU looks to even the season a series against Georgia this Thursday at noon in the second round of the SEC tournament. Winner plays number one seed Florida on Friday at noon. But before LSU enters postseason play, two Tigers received all SEC awards for their regular season performances. Sophomore forward Johnny O'Brien was selected first team all SEC for his efforts this season, being the first Tiger to do so since 2009. O'Brien is tied for the SEC lead with 14 double doubles. His final regular season averages were nearly 14 points and nine rebounds per game. And of course, fellow sophomore point guard Anthony Hickey also received all SEC honors, being named to the SEC all defensive team. Hickey leads the nation in steals with 3.1 per game to go with season averages of nearly 12 points and four assists per game. Hickey is tied for the fourth most steals in a season in LSU history with 83, 
and is looking to become just the fifth player in SEC history to average three steals in a season. And folks, it's halftime at the sports desk again, and our own Derek Cop is up next. He'll take a look at how free agencies fit in with the NFL draft that's just about one month away. Yes, that's correct, Matt. Um, and draftees have tough decisions to make, and that brings with it uneasy feelings on players' trades and new contracts. But we'll talk much more about that right after the break. Welcome back to Sports Showtime. I'm Derek Koff with this week's edition of Around the Nation. And with the draft over a month away, general managers must now prepare their teams for the offseason. And with free agency starting today, teams can now make offers to any unrestricted and restricted free agents that this offseason's free agent market is headlined by a couple of big names. But in order for these teams to sign these big name free agents, they need to free up money in the cap. So over the past few weeks, we have seen such names as James Harrison, Adrian Wilson, Charles Woodson, and Michael Turner being released from their contracts so teams can save some money in the NFL. This NFL offseason, many of the game's top players have seen their values drop to their teams and now find themselves jobless come July when training camps start. Some of these marquee players include former first overall pick Jake Long, two-time Pro Bowl wide receiver Greg Jennings, and tough running back Steven Jackson, formerly with the Rams. Each of the players have until the start of the season to sign a deal with a team of their choice, unless they are a restricted free agent, which means that the player's former team has a chance to match the player's best offer before letting them walk away. And even though free agency just started, we have already seen the offseason in full force as players such as Alex Smith were traded from the 49ers to the Chiefs for a first-round draft pick. And just yesterday, Minnesota dual-threat wide receiver Percy Harvin was traded from the Vikings to the Seahawks, who also received a first-round draft pick. I will keep you up to date each week as the NFL offseason gets revved up with free agency and soon the Pro Bowl, or the Pro Dates for the NFL draft picks. And if there's one thing to say about the Hornets this season, it's that at times, yes, they do have some awful stretches, but if you're at the bottom, the only way to go is up. And thus far this season, the Hornets have shown flashes of the fast-paced, youthful squad that we all thought would take the court this season. And over the weekend against Portland, we saw the full potential of this high-flying, fast-paced Hornets team. And it was military night down in New Orleans. As the, as the Hornets took on the Trailblazers. Later in the first, Wes, Ma Wes Matthews fakes the jumper and gets it down low to J.J. Hickson, who jams it home. Hornets up by six in the second quarter. Brian Roberts gives the high feed to Anthony Davis, who climbs the ladder on that dunk. Third quarter, Hornets up. Damian Lillard, see ya. Dunk one-handed, and that's why he's got the vote for Rookie of the Year. Not number 23 on the other side, but on cue, Anthony Davis throws it in. Oh, fake shot for the win, Ryan Anderson deep. Oh, it's good, what a shot. You gotta think that game's over, but the Hornets can never make anything easy as Damian Lillard, who's he? Oh yeah, just made another point. You gotta think that's the game. No pre you give it to in the clutch, Ryan Anderson in the paint with one, and that's the game. It's gonna end, Hornets get the win, 98-96. The Hornets begin a, begin a three-game road trip against the Brooklyn Nets, and newly signed forward Lou Amundsen will join the team tonight. You can catch the game at 6.30 on Fox Sports New Orleans. And moving from the cellar of the NBA to the team currently sitting in the penthouse, you would have to live under a rock to not know that the Miami Heat are without a doubt the hottest team in the NBA right now. Now, the Heat, of course, are led by the king of LeBron James, who thus far this season has an average of 26.7 points a game, 7.1 assists a game, and 8 rebounds a game. Oh yeah, all of which are team-leading stats for the likely MVP. The Heat have had more attention recently because they are in the midst of an 18-game winning streak, where they have defeated the likes of the Indiana Pacers, the Oklahoma City Thunder, and the Los Angeles Clippers, all of which are battling for top spots in their conferences. Besides LeBron, the team is seeing excellent performances out of star guard Dwayne Wade, as he has put in some great defensive performances along with carrying the workload when the King is having an off-shooting half, since we all know that he can never have an off-shooting entire game. The Heat look to continue their streak tonight versus the Atlanta Hawks in Miami. That game is on NBA TV at 7.30. And thanks for watching Around the Nation. I'm Derek Kopp. I'll see you next Tuesday for all your national sports news. Back to Sydney and Bat. Thanks, Derek. Well, coming up after the break, we pay tribute to a certain LSU athlete and Tiger TV employee who has won a prestigious award recently. She's very near and dear to our hearts. Break out those tissues, folks. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to the show. Now, to wrap things up, we wanted to take time out of our show to honor a certain LSU athlete and Tiger TV employee that is near and dear to our hearts. And without her, the show just would not happen. Indeed, you are right, Sydney. We are, of course, talking about our lovable producer and LSU soccer standout, Alex Ramsey, a.k.a. A-Ram, or her soccer nickname, Crushes Dreams. Isn't she adorable? Last night, the Tiger Athletic Foundation named Alex a 2012 T a TAF Female Volunteer of the Year for her efforts off the field and in the Baton Rouge community. And here you can see Alex right after she received her award. I mean, isn't Instagram wonderful? Absolutely. <laughs> if only she were here in the studio with us right now, I really would love to see her face. On behalf of everyone here at Tiger TV, Alex, congratulations. Woo! I know you're watching. <laughs> and with that said, that's it for tonight on Sports Showtime. You can watch full episodes online at TigerTV.tv. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for the latest news at TTV underscore sports. We're here Tuesday through Thursday at 6 o'clock on Campus Channel 75. Tune in and catch up with us. For Sydney Armstrong, I'm Brett Broner. You stay classy, planet Earth. <laughs>